Hey guys, welcome to part two of this 2D rig face tutorial. If you do something like this, you know, 2D face with a 3D character in Lightwave, you're gonna find this very interesting. Let's do it. Okay, first of all, we're gonna need some image files. And um, here we have three image files. The first one is uh, 6,000 by 6,000 pixels. And on top of this image is where you actually are going to draw your own mouth and eyes shapes. Now, the second one is a 750 pixels square. And this one, we're gonna use it for the actual plugin. And from number one to 50, we're gonna use it for the eyes. And the second part from one to 50, we're gonna use it to place our mouth shapes. Uh, this is something that you can create in Photoshop, but uh, today I'm going to give these ones away for free and you can go to my website and download all these files. The only one that I'm not gonna be able to give you are the actual eyes, but those are the ones that you're gonna create using Photoshop or Illustrator or anything like that. Okay, to begin with, I wanted to come here to Modeler and show you a couple of things. This face, a very simple one, of course, uh, it has two different surfaces and one is for my face and the other one is for my head and they share the same color. Now I decided to use the standard light wave mode, uh, the kind of like the old mode, uh, simply because I want to see this in OpenGL and uh, I haven't found actually a way to do that with the new principal surface type of mode. But if you know how to do it, let me know. Okay. I want to point that this file has, um, this head has four morphs and they actually are not distorting anything here. Um, but I want you to take a look to this. There's a little square that I put right inside the head and um, the square is actually the one that's, you know, taking little changes. The thing is that in, in Lightwave, if you try to create a morph and if you don't move anything in your geometry, uh, you're actually are not going to be able to create that morph. So I needed like like a like a morph holder or something like that. But this is this, this is not going to be seen in the final output, of course. Another thing is that, of course, uh, we need to put the same um, weight map that the head has because you know if you don't do that of course that little square is going to be flying in space when you rig your character okay now in layout let's create a null and let's call it reference and let's move it to the front of the face like this okay uh, something like around where i think my eyes are gonna go Okay, let's go to the surface editor and let's look for the face surface. Hit T for texture editor and I'm gonna look for an image. And let's look for the grid number one image. So remember this is a perfect square so I can change the X and Y values to make it bigger. They have to be the same, of course. Now I go to the position tab, start moving. Uh, but first let's change this to reset and reset the tiles and now i'm gonna move based on the numbers that i have here i i have to look for number one of course so i change the x and y and line up the, the null with the red dot in the middle of the square now just for a reference um, i'm gonna look for my eyes image uh, just to see to have an idea how is it gonna look like there it is uh, okay looks decent so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate this layer and let's change the image for the mouth just to see. Okay, now I'm going to offset the Y position to make it more, you know, just to have an idea of how our face is going to be. Everything is going to change at the end, but uh, this is just for a little reference. Okay, now I turn off the mouth layer and now let's change the image for the grid again. Here we go. Now, before I continue, I need to make the point that this character has to have already the morph supplied. So go ahead and do that. So let's go back to our texture editor of our face and let's apply an envelope to the position tab right here. Okay. Now let's go to the modifiers in the graph editor and let's apply channel follower and let's link that channel the x channel with the morph ix channel 
And let's do the same with the white channel. Let's link it with the eyes white channel, the morph eyes channel. Now, if I open my morphs window right here, I should be able to move the image with the sliders. Okay, now finally we're going to do the character management plugin setup. So the same way I explained it in the first video of these tutorials, um, I'm gonna create a character and a tab and I'm going to um, rename them. That's what I'm doing right here. So I'm gonna give the name uh, character and my tab, I'm gonna rename it. I'm gonna put face. And in this case, I'm going to look for an image. So I hit right here and I look for grid number three, PNG picker, I think it is, yes. Sometimes it takes a little while to update. You can refresh the buttons and it's gonna be fine. So let's go to the edit mode in this plugin and let's create one button as we already know. Here's the little button I'm going to um, change the properties and I'm going to resize this to 75 and 75. I'm going to change the normal state alpha to zero and the select state to about 50%. And this is going to give us something like this. Okay. Now I'm going to bring my morph mixer and I'll let you know why later. And I'm going to change the properties of this button. And let's look for this command set key at current. So this is asking us for an item, a channel, and a volume. The item is gonna be my character right here. The channel is gonna be right here in the morph mixer, the eyes X, and the value is gonna be this right here. And just remember that this has to be divided by a hundred when you input the information. So let's input that information right here and let's test it. Let's go to the um, use mode in my plugin right here. And I am going to offset a little bit the values here in the morph mixer like this. And let's test it. Hit number one and there it is. Let's try it again. There it is. Perfect. Okay, let's try another button. Let's say I'm going to do number 14. Go to edit mode. And let's also bring the graph editor. Let me just fit everything here. Okay, now I am going to duplicate this button number one. Let's move it to this button number 14 and let's filter X and Y eyes in the graph editor. Okay, now from here I can move my texture as you can see. So from here, let's look for that number 14 using the Y and X channels. I'm getting close, close. I'm gonna zoom so I can more precisely get to the number maybe a little bit more perfect that works for me let me move this morph mixer a little bit let's edit here so one more time let's pay attention to what we have here in the morph mixer and let's translate all these values to the buttons properties also don't forget that we have to divide by a hundred these values so it can work good Okay, let's hit OK, go to use mode. Let's hit number one, we know that works. And now 14, excellent. It's working perfectly. So go ahead and fill all those numbers from one to 50 and at the end you should have something like this. Okay, so for the mouth, we're gonna make it very simple. Let's just delete the mouth and what I'm gonna do is I'm going to duplicate the eyes layer and I'm going to change the image on that one to replace it for the mouth. Great. Now, as you can see right now, this mouth has been controlled by the eyes morph and we're gonna correct that later on. But first let's relocate the mouth. I'm going to go to the envelope, the Y envelope on this mouth and I'm going to use one modifier. It's called texture channel scale. And from here, let's offset this mouth so it can go in the right position like this. We can also use the same technique to relocate the eyes, you know, just to fine tune the position. 
And the reason to do it this way so is that we don't lose all the information um, and we don't have to retype everything, all the buttons in the YS character management plugin. Also, I need to reroute the mouth to the to the mouth morphs. So let's do that right here in the channel follower and reroute it properly. Okay, great. So at this point, we already have programmed from 1 to 50. That's going to be for the eyes. So we're going to duplicate all these ones and place them down here for the mouth. And the only thing that we need to do in each one of the buttons is just change the name of the eyes for mouth. Just because everything uh, with the positions are going to be the same. So let's go to edit mode and let's edit our tab and change the image and replace it with the one with your own eyes. And it should be working okay. Let's see use mode and I'm going just to go through some images and it works beautiful okay there's a couple of things I want to point uh, first of all remember that you need to save your character twice that's gonna be one for the character and the second one is going to be in the master plugins you go to the plugin and file list and point the file that you just saved so this way Lightwave is going to be able to remember and relocate your file every time that you open the scene. Now if you want to, let's say, apply all this to a different character, there's a very easy way to do it. Let's go to the character file and with a text editor we are going to open it. In this case I'm using Notepad. And in Notepad when you do Ctrl H you can replace the name of your original character and input the name of the new one and you hit replace all and after this of course we need to save it with the new name and also we need to reroute everything in the channel followers so everything will be controlled by the morphs of the new character also don't forget that we can offset the positions of the new character's face from here now obviously since we are dealing with 2D images we need to animate this using the step interpolation Okay guys, that's it for today. More practical Lightweb tutorials coming, so don't forget to subscribe. Thank you very much and I'll see you soon.